My parents were scientists. They taught me biology is war. To win, a species must endure, reproduce, survive. The foes we're about to face evolved to win at all costs. They don't care about their losses. So long as they're the last ones standing. They're as cunning, adaptable, and tenacious as any Marine. But they lack our purpose, our conscience, and our mercy. 40th Marine Expeditionary Unit. This fight is not a simple bug hunt. Know our enemy. Know your strengths. Work together and live to fight another day. Colonel Ship, signing off. Shake the cryo-freeze off, Marine. We got woke by a distress call. A Dr. Tim Hanukkah sent a mayday from an orbital refinery. Situation ain't clear, but on the outer rim, there's always a chance of xenomorphs. Board the station, find Hanukkah, and extract them. Staff Sergeant Herrera will be the voice in your ear. She'll guide you, warn you of enemy movements, and provide support. Might want to talk to Herrera before you deploy. Hey, we didn't get a chance to brief earlier. Short version, while you're on the tip of the spear, I'll be in the dropship with LT Co running Overwatch and eating my abuela's cookies. You listen to what I say, I'll get your ass out in the smallest possible number of pieces. And you can have a cookie. You got any questions? Now's the time. Hell no, I'll be in the platoon tac op center running shit by remote. Better me than some butter bar come mierda fresh out of OCS, huh? Usually I'm in a dropship on Overwatch. When we ain't got air superiority, I'm dirt sight in an APC. When things have really gone to shit, I'll be in a foxhole brushing dirt off a laptop with one hand and shooting with the other. Point is, I run ranged sensors and tech support for you. For anything I can't handle, I call Esther. Our battalion synthetic, an android. She's a medical corpsman, science advisor, electronic warfare tech, and MFLC. That's a military and family life counselor. Fancy way to say she listens if you got issues. While we're in the freezers for long trips, Esther and Endeavor's mother computer keep the ship running. She doesn't normally deploy, but we get her on the radio to solve problems. Did the penejos at the recruit depot give you any briefing? Or they just kick your ass into cryo and call it a day? The Endeavor's a Tianxin class assault ship, cutting edge of the United America's fleet. Built at Welch's station, commissioned in 2194. Remember the old Conestoga attack transports from the 70s? Well, we're about three times the size. More self-sufficient, more amenities, bigger guns. You and me both, let's do this.
I'm sure it's a glorious day in the core somewhere. Make sure you got your gear prepped. I ate your mama. Fire team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Honecker, a Weyland Yutani scientist. So mount up, people. Dr. Honecker's personal data transmitter. He's not far in. First, we need a deck plan. Pull one off a terminal and chlorine extraction. Huh. Just emergency lights. And maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Honecker. Patch into the console. I'll pull it down over wireless. Generator is beyond Honecker's ping. We can kick it after we grab him. Our man should be in the junction ahead. Honecker, this is the Colonial Marines. You hearing me? Acid damage. Not encouraging. Continue your sweep. Right here. High speed incoming. Get hot. Short bursts. It's way more than I expected. Ambushed rear. Well, that's shut. Oh, good. Sloppy work. Guess Honecker went this way. Why is it glowing? Hey, I 
I get an idea how to track down Honecker. Searching this whole barge would take too long. Movement. Tell you my idea later. Probably. Release the locks. Anyway, I'm thinking we can track the doctor using station locks. I found a data access point, but it's further in. Concentrate on getting the power up. into an acid spitting morph. Where did these come from? Dynamo rooms just ahead. Restart's mostly automated. up is gonna make noise, vibration, heat, whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. Be ready for a fight when you switch on. That's a war. 
warriors. Just about to kick power to the mains. Swarm brewing. Break out the heavy shit. This is gonna get spicy. I mentioned is just ahead. We'll see if Honaker's left any tracks. I got Esther standing by to analyze the logs. She's our battalion synthetic. Hello, Marines. It is a pleasure to work with you. Ammo. Running a bypass. moment.
On your toes, fire team. Watch the vents. on Deck 41 was accessed, I believe by Dr. Honecker. Marines, head to the core lift. Big freight elevator goes all the way up the main tower. When, uh, when we reach Honecker, we're gonna find a scientist or a puddle of chunky marinara. I gotta well, be running. Test the echo, but you know, bugs. Got some big internal leaks. Never a good sign in space. on the far side. Same deal as the generator. Expect little friends to pop out all over when this turns on. Elevator 17 decks up. It'll take a while to show. Set up a perimeter, then hit the call button.
I'm Ibrahim Savani, Colonial Marines Intelligence, Surveillance and Recon Service. Yes, most Marines call us Kamisars. No, we're not as bad as you've heard. Katanga has over 80 years of history, but the interesting bit is from 25 years ago. Its owners seek some company, reported the refinery was destroyed. Yet, here it floats, in a system controlled by Sikhson's rival, Wayland yutani We compile information on threats to the United Americas and provide it to the Corps to act on. Our sources range from battlefield recon to cyber warfare. Some believe we have spies everywhere, but that's simply not true. If everyone worked for us, who would we spy on? <laughs> Uh, that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> we, we joke sometimes. In the previous century, they were a moderately large interstellar corporation. They even had aspirations of competing with Weyland Jutani. Sikson invested heavily in space facilities. In 2174, they purchased Katanga from its previous owner. The refinery was refit and towed to the mid rim. Katanga was originally constructed 82 years ago by Kinshasa Enterprise Diatat Minier the state mining enterprise of the DR Congo. In 2070, Guinea fell under sanction by the United Americas Assembly. They had sold resources to the revolutionary forces during the Haiti's revolts. To survive the financial losses, they auctioned off their space assets. That's when Sikson purchased Katanga. Unclear, the ICC logged that Sikson scuttled it due to irreparable damage. There are no details on the cause or scope of that damage. You'd expect insurers to demand that. I'm following up with Central. If we learn something you need to know, you'll be informed. Marine, I heard you got scans of a face hugger. Let me see. Hmm. A well preserved specimen. I'm going to pass this to Esther for analysis. We have a lot to learn about Xenomorph XX-121's life cycle. Ovomorphs, eggs, and the face huggers that hatch from them are easy to contain and study. Once the parasitic phase ends in a chest burster, it gets hard. Adult forms are hostile. Acid blood melts autopsy equipment. Studies are complicated by the DNA reflex. The host parasitized by a Xenomorph changes the morphology and behavior of the adult form. Runner and prowler morphs breed from quadruped pack and herd animals, dogs, cattle. Drones and warriors, they come from humans. That's why civilians mistake them for the real form of Xenos. In reality, we've got no idea what the original form of Xenomorph XX-121 was. Got a scan of Katanga's black box? Nice! Look at that thing. It's what, 80 years old? These big refineries were supposed to be the future. Park them in orbit, fill them up, then tow them home while it all gets processed en route. They were made to mine metallic asteroids. Let me scan the logs real quick. In the early 70s, Seeks and Refit Katanga to crack ice. They'd haul a berg into the top of Likasi Tower, and the works ground it down into water and byproducts. All that got piped over to Bashi Tower, the water got purified, and they split it into hydrogen and oxygen. 
You get life support and ship propellant. Huh. Entries stop in 2177. The last ones are about receiving evacuees and then... some kind of exterior override. Weird. All right. Here's a speech. Pay attention. I'm in the middle of six annoying things, and neither of us want you to become number seven. When you boarded, you got four basic field kits. Solid armad equipment, no frills. Enough to do your job. You got setups for rifle, heavy weps, tech, and medical. Based on the missions you complete, you get assigned requisition credits. You come to me, ask for the equipment, and if you got the credits, I fabricate it for you. You can requisition new weapons, or attachment for weapons, or consumables. Special ammunition, sentry guns, mines, whatever. I let Marines pick their own gear. You deploy with the wrong shit, you're the one who bites it, not me. Talk to your fire team, work out who's doing what. You're in the field, boot. When you get back to port, hit the commissary or exchange. <laughs> That's my official answer. Between you, me, and the bulkhead, I also got a special inventory. Stuff to personalize your gear. I don't take requisition credits for that. We got an unofficial system. Anybody ask, just say you tactically acquired it. Anything not on the racks, I can pull out of Cargo 4. What'd you find? Colonial indenture contract. Oh, those are fun. From Sikhs and dated 2175. So, look, people in the core want to move out to the colonies, right? Maybe there ain't jobs. Maybe they're dreamers. So they signed with a megacorp. A company pays for passage, then they work for X years. And that's how people get stuck out here. 
Most end up in the Outer Rim, places settled enough to vote, have schools and mail, irregular cargo and passenger shipping. And some get sent to the frontier. Everything between the Outer Rim and wherever the furthest surveyor is. Those are just uh, outposts, rough and ugly, terraformers, mine shafts, and uh, prefab shacks. These days, the Outer Rim's a hundred light years from Earth, give or take. Last 20 years, the companies have set stakes farther and farther out. 